This is part of a series of questions that we've been running on the origins of the virus, uh, the public's awareness and understanding of uh, where this virus came from, how the initial management of the virus and eventually the management of all of the emergency uh, measures around the virus uh, occurred and how happy are they uh, with various institutions that played a role in the management of COVID-19. This specific question tried to gauge uh, the public's and voters' belief on where the virus originated. And what's interesting is that only about a quarter of the of voters today believe that the public originated, uh, the virus originated in a wet market um, in Wuhan, China. 29% or about three in 10 voters are unsure and 47%, very close to half of all voters, believe that this virus originated in a laboratory. And as we mentioned uh, uh, last week, um, a plurality of, of, of voters, if this is the case, they want some kind of action and accountability towards China if it is indeed proven that the virus originated in a lab and leaked from a government-run uh, laboratory. So uh, this, is, this is fairly uh, big news. Uh, for the longest time, uh, the public was unsure or uncertain uh, of where the virus originated uh, and would place measured trust, I would say, in institutions like uh, the World Health Organization, which said that it very likely started out of natural circumstances in a wet market. Uh, the narrative has shifted since then with the intelligence community opening up its investigation of the origins of the virus and new evidence coming to light that the virus might have actually been engineered rather than uh, naturally occurring. And so the public has a heightened degree of sensitivity towards this issue given everything that transpired in the last year and is fairly well aware of the broad conversation around the origins of, of the virus. And that's reflected uh, in the data. I would also comment on two other interesting findings in the poll that we run. One is that um, there is a partisan element um, to voters' reactions. So a majority of Republican voters, 59%, um, believe that the virus originated in a laboratory. That's a higher rate than the midpoint of all uh, voters. And also a plurality of, of uh, independents actually believed um, that or believe that the virus originated in a laboratory, but not yet a majority. And the rest are kind of split between natural causes and being unsure, the independents. And then Democrats, interestingly enough, are fully, fully split with about a third believing uh, it came out of natural causes, a third believing that it originated in a laboratory or a little bit over a third and then the third uh, being unsure of it. Um, so uh, an interesting picture, but the tendency of voter beliefs is moving in the direction that this virus came out of the lab in Wuhan. And there's a series of next logical steps in voters' minds about what should happen if that is indeed the case and that is indeed proven. Uh, so, uh, interesting findings, and I would encourage uh, our viewers to stay tuned for more of the research that we'll be conducting on the COVID-19 origin story, and then also U.S.-China relations as part of this, um, uh, as part of COVID-19.